Hey guys and welcome! Today I want to introduce you guys to the African land snail and I actually have one of mine with me right here. I don't know if you can see him properly. Let's just do like this. Alright, I'm going to refer to uh, this guy by him because they are uh, hermaphrodites, if that's how you say it, which means that this fella here is both uh, female and male. But to make it a lot easier, I'm just going to refer to him as male. So, the African land snail, I don't know, you might have heard of them, you might have seen these pictures uh, on the internet where someone is holding them and then they are just holding this massive snail. These guys are one of the biggest uh, if not the biggest types uh, species of snail. I'm not a snail expert, I'm afraid, so my knowledge of them is a little bit limited. But if you're sitting out there and you are a snail expert, please feel free to write down in the comments anything that you think that I should know. This guy is growing pretty big. When I first got him, he was like the size uh, of the tip of my little finger here. Like he was so tiny, I bought a few of them. And I was originally planning on just using them for food. Uh, not for me, but for some of my other animals. Um, but then I, I kind of fell in love with them because they were really interesting. Like they're a very underrated pet to have, I really think, because uh, most people look at snail and they think that they are disgusting, they're slimy. But these guys, like, first of all, they do grow uh, fairly fast, which means that they get pretty big within not a lot of time. And they are active, so you can actually watch them. Not that they're gonna do that much, but you still have something to watch. And you can actually also, like, you can feed them, take off tiny bits, you can actually just uh, feed them very slowly. And you can see them, like, munching the stuff. I've also done uh, a video that I put on Instagram where you can actually see that one of the snail was eating and you could see the food like pass through his head and all the way into his belly. So that was just kind of cool. You might think that it's it's slimy and it's gooey and uh, people often come up to me and thinking that snakes are slimy, which they are not. But these guys, they are incredibly slimy. I don't know if you can see it on my hands, but yes, I actually, I do have some slime on me. <laughs> but that's just something you have to deal with. Now, I don't take these guys out every day far from. Usually they're just chilling in that terrarium, which we're also going to have a look at later. But today I kind of felt like showing this guy off to you because they really have grown and, and they have this massive, like this beautiful, beautiful shell. Just look how pretty it is. Usually these guys, they, ha they are a lot darker in their color, like this is an albino. All three of mine are albinos. And I think that if you're not that comfortable or into snails, this uh, albino uh, version of them is maybe going to make it a little bit easier because they're looking really beautiful. Like I think it's a really, it's a beautiful snail, you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> but as you can see, this guy is actually pretty curious. He's out, he's looking, he's probably looking for food. So a little fact about these guys is that a lot of people uh, have been writing me, asking me what they can keep in like in a small terrarium. Maybe they don't have room for a snake, but they do have smaller terrariums. What should they keep and usually I always say maybe like uh, tarantulas you can also go for like there's a lot of beautiful beetles and stuff like that and then I also always say how about have you thought about maybe the African land snail because they don't require that much room and they're kind of like I said before they're kind of interesting they're fun to watch and the fact that they grow so fast really gives you something to look forward to you know and then a lot uh, a lot of you have been writing me from from USA which is awesome I love hearing from you guys and then you telling me that they're illegal and I'm like why are they illegal but it actually shows that these guys are like uh, a really a massive invasive species over there they eat over I believe it's like 500 different types of plants so they're an invasive species and you're not allowed to have them as a pet so I'm really sorry about that but if someone outside of the states uh, where they are legal are thinking about having one I can definitely recommend them I really really can the thing about these guys as I said before is that they are hermaphrodites which means that they are both male and female like they have the reproductive organs inside them which is kind of cool you know uh, but it's also kind of like if you want to have uh, two or more snails going together you're definitely going to see some snail babies and maybe you're thinking like, oh that's cute that's okay I can I can do that uh, and yeah you can but you have to know that they can lay up until 500 eggs and it's not just like it's uh, <laughs> 500 eggs once a year it's actually like 500 eggs every second or third month so you really have to <laughs> think about that also the good thing about these are that they don't require being socialized they're not sociable animals so you can just as easily have uh, just one if you are into that oh he's so beautiful let's have a closer look at him I 
have another one here. He's a bit more shy, but as you can see, he's coming out of his shell. Da -da -da -da. So these guys, they do grow pretty big. This guy is not fully grown yet. Uh, usually they will, this part of the shell will usually be around 20 centimeters. So that's gonna be quite a big snail. I don't know how much this one is. How much is this? <laughs> so as you may be able to see here, now that he's poked his little head out, uh, on the front of the head they have this, it looks kind of like a mouth, and inside the mouth they have this uh, little thing, it's almost like a tongue, but it's called the radula or the radula, not sure, I've written it down here so you can look it up. <laughs> but, uh, and, and on that they actually have all of these small teeth which will allow them to eat, as you may be able to see, it's kind of like he's eating a little bit, he's kind, I can feel that he's kind of, he's tasting uh, my finger. It, it doesn't hurt at all, but I can definitely feel. All right, now that you've seen this guy up close, I thought that maybe we should go and have a look at the terrarium I have for them. All right, so here is the terrarium. I really hope that you can get a sense of, of how it's looking. Uh, right here, we have some very, very humid, very gooey uh, dirt. This is just regular dirt, as I believe. And we have this water bowl to make sure that they can always get fresh water. Then I have the bowl with their food. Right now, they're getting carrots, broccoli, and cannot remember what the name of this is. As you can see, there is a snail right down there. Let me just get you a bit closer. All right, he is hanging right there. Right now, he is doing what the snails are doing the most, which is just chilling. He's inside his cone, just making himself comfortable and all that stuff. Um, snails, they really don't do that much. They eat and they sleep, that's about it. And if there are more than one, then they make two. <laughs> but despite that, they are kind of funny. All right, let me get you out again. As you maybe can, can see or can guess, like this terrarium is not the biggest terrarium, and that's okay, they don't require that much space. Uh, which is quite fortunate. Um, what I have to say about these is that they are kind of messy. They really are. Like they will, but you can see maybe way down in the back. That's poop. Like they will poop pretty much everywhere. But they are kind of funny. But you have to know that you will be <laughs> required to do a little bit of cleaning. All right, let's put this guy back in if we can. Let me just lift him. There we are, very carefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> and the second one, I'm just gonna place them very carefully. I'm just gonna go and, and wash my hands, so just hang on for a second. Ouch! All right, I'm back with clean hands and all. <laughs> if you've seen my earlier videos that I did on octopuses, Octopi, don't know, <laughs> then you will definitely recognize this. This is a sabia shell. If you have other type of reptiles, you may also recognize it as well. They are commonly used that you scrape off a bit of this, that's, uh, you can see it here, a little bit dusty, you scrape it off and you give it for to the animal to eat. And these snails, they also needed to make sure that their shell, that their own shell is very, very healthy. So I'm just gonna put it in here. They will just eat it directly off this. I'm just gonna lay it right here. All right, guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed meeting my three African land snail. I still haven't found a proper name for them, so if you have an idea, please do let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, remember to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for now, and bye-bye. Can you say bye? He says bye. <laughs>